The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, even though the disciples had locked the doors of the place where they were for the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood before them. Peace be with you, he said. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. At the sight of the Lord, the disciples rejoiced. Peace be with you, he said again. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive men's sins, they are forgiven them. If you hold them bound, they are held bound. It happened that one of the twelve, Thomas, the name means twin, was absent when Jesus came. The other disciples kept telling him, We have seen the Lord. His answer was, I'll never believe it without probing the nail prints in his hands without putting my finger in the nail marks and my hand into his side. A week later, the disciples were once more in the room, and this time Thomas was with them. Despite the locked doors, Jesus came and stood before them. Peace be with you, he said. Then to Thomas, take your finger and examine my hands. Put your hand into my sight. Do not persist in your unbelief, but believe. Thomas said in response, My Lord and my God. Jesus then said to him, You became a believer because you saw me. Blessed are they who have not seen and have believed. Jesus performed many other signs as well, signs not recorded here in the presence of his disciples but these have been recorded to help you believe that jesus is the messiah the son of god so that through this faith you may have life in his name brothers and sisters the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus, jesus christ, christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart, and that people listen with their hearts. Come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, thank you for the love in your hearts, the sacrifice, just to come here before the Lord today. And all of you joining us now online, thank you. Something about the gospel today, I don't know if you heard it. Thomas was absent when the Lord appeared to the disciples. That's why he missed the initial manifestation of the resurrection. Salamat, hindi ka absent ngayon dito sa simbahan. Salamat po sa mga hindi absent kahit online. You miss a lot of things if you are absent. It's the presence of God that really warms the heart and speaking of heart may i invite you now just to bow your head and from the bottom of your heart you tell the lord today lord have mercy on me a sinner panginoon maawa po kayo sa akin Ako'y makasalanan. 
Maawa po kayo, Panginoon, sa amin. Kayo po ang aming Panginoon. Have mercy on me, O God, I am a sinner. Maawa po kayo sa akin. Maawa po kayo sa amin. Kami po ay makasalanan. Thank you, Lord. Sorry, Lord. I love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We are sorry, Lord. We love you, Lord. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. So loaded with darkness and sin. Again, thank you, Lord. Sorry, Lord. I love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, if you can relate with that prayer of mercy, congratulations. And if you, for whatever reason, cannot relate with that prayer of mercy, I think something is lacking in your spiritual life. You are not really listening to God. Kasi palaging yung hinihingi mo lang. This is the level I'm talking about. God is good, loving, generous, and merciful. Marami sa atin, God is good all the time. Loving all the time. Generous all the time. Pero mga iba, they don't go to the level of God is merciful. Why? Maybe kulang. You're not really listening to God. May I say this? Mercy is the greatest attribute of God. So if you're not into the mercy mode, you are missing a very special part of God. Why am I saying this? Because unless and until we rely on God's mercy, we can become proud, spiritually proud. Wala naman akong kasalanan, Father. Why? Ano bang pinagsasabi mong mercy, mercy na yan? Sisters and brothers, I think you should really listen to God more and more. And when you can say, Lord, have mercy on me, I am a sinner. From the bottom of your heart. Congratulations. So sa lahat po, who pray to God with humility and with begging, asking, pleading, you are very close to God's heart. One time, I told somebody, ah, medyo mayabang, you know, ah, wala rin mga kung ano mga kasalanan na yan, wala yan. He was so cynical. And I didn't know what to tell him anymore. Kasi, Lahat ng mga bini... Alam, he was close, you know? So I said to him, well, don't forget. Just don't forget this, sabi ko. God loves you very much. That's all. You think he would have absorbed that? Sabi niya, well, Father, he has good taste. Diyos ko po. He was so in love with himself, maybe so in love with his spiritual life, na mabait siya, etc., etc. I think what I'm trying to say is, 
starting point, God is merciful. I am a sinner. That's the best starting point for all of us again and again. So don't forget that, huh? Remember, God is good all the time. God is good. God is loving. God is merciful till the end of time. Amen. By the way, today we hear again about Thomas. Thomas, I call him the closure disciple. Bakit ano ba yung closure? By the way, ikaw, may mga closure ka na ba? Some things in your life, may mga ka-close ka ba? Sabi nga nila yung closure, close tayo. Are you sure? Pakitanong mo nga yung katabi mo, mga magkakapatid dyan, mag-asawa, close tayo. Are you sure? <laughs> it's a good question. Because Thomas was close to Jesus. He was a disciple. But he wasn't sure if Jesus really rose from the dead. As far as closure is concerned, God's love, God's mercy is unchanging. May closure na yan. But tayo, we fail, we doubt, we forget. So on our part, walang closure. We are not sure. But still, we are assured that God loves us. Sisters and brothers, uh, siguro kasi, let's talk of the levels of love. What is the first level of love? You tell you, yourself, yeah, I'm a loving person. Like God, let's become loving. The first, yun lang pinaka basic one ng love is respect. Magrespetohan tayo. Okay? May opinion ka, may opinion ako. I respect you. I'm not going to bulldoze you. Or, ah, wala yan, wala yan. So, if you are respectful, that's the beginning of love. At kayo na nasa relationship, you lose respect to one another. Wow! Ang hirap na yun. You tend to dominate. Ikaw na lang nagdidikta ng lahat. Please rethink your relationship. Recharge. Do you respect your children? Do you respect their, their views? Children, do you respect your parents? Basic respect lang po, kaya babuti po. This teach the children to be respectful. Well, the children see their parents. If they're respectful to each other, they become respectful too. Respeto. Second level of love is justice. Don't talk about love kung wala namang justice. You know, you give to people kung ano na mga donation, kuno, and you do not pay them their proper wages. Ganun ba? Uh, madasalin ka, etc., in front of a people, but ang tapang mo, ang sungit mo sa ibang tao when nobody's looking at you. Justice po. We need justice. Kailangan po yan. May mga pangalan ng mga juries, di ba? Or justice. Ang susunod po, ito na, love. Amor. Si juries naging amor. Okay, you know what love is. Ito na, beyond justice. Kasi kung ang relationship natin, justice lang, uh, justice is na lang yan. But we can go beyond loving. How do you explain somebody who says, mahal ko pa rin siya, Father, eh. all these years. Or the, the one who had a vows, who said to the husband, I know everything 
you have been doing all these years. But I love you. And I made a choice to go on living with you than to go on living without you. Explain that. That's love. Or somebody who was so sad because she was uh, forgotten by the husband and uh, what happened? She continued to love. Na-stroke yung husband, siya pa rin. Where's justice? We're not talking of justice. We're talking now of love. The highest level po, ito po, sana tayo rin. Mercy. Awa. Di ba sabi nila yung asawa, pag tumagal na after some years, nawala yung A. Naku. Sawa na. After some years, nawala pa yung S. Awa na lang. Tapos nawala pa yung A. Wa na. Oh. Well, sisters and brothers, pakitanong mo lang sarili mo. Where do you operate? Where are you lacking in love? Baka kulang ka ng respeto. You don't respect people a lot. O baka kulang ka ng justice. Baka kulang ka ng love. At kulang tayo ng mercy. That's why, if you cannot relate with that prayer, Lord, have mercy on me. A sinner. Then you're not really taking a good look at who you are. Even the saints, especially the saints, talk of God's mercy. Again, let's bow our heads and say, Lord, have mercy on me. I am a sinner. Maawa po kayo sa akin. Maawa po kayo sa amin. We still have so much to learn about true loving, about true generosity. Asensya na Lord, mayabang po kami sa inyo. Thank you Lord for understanding. Thank you for being patient with us. Thank you Lord. So mga kapatid, now, what is our response? to God's mercy. Let us also become merciful. How do we thank God? Well, go back to mercy. M-E-R-C-Y. Because God is merciful, you and I must learn to be M meek and humble. If you are meek and humble, ibig sabihin, the mercy of God, the love of God, is really within you. But if you are proud and haughty and uh, so entitled about so many things, I think we have not really absorbed God's mercy. Nasa kayabangan mode pa rin tayo. Stay meek, stay humble. That's the road to God's heart. E, take the road of emptiness. Empty. Emptying na tayo dapat ang mode natin. Ang dami pong nilibing. The, you know, the cemetery, somebody said, is the richest place all over the world. Why? Ang daming nalibing dyan na pagmamahal na hindi na ilabas. <laughs> Mga Kayamanan na hindi na share. The good words na hindi, hindi na sabi. So the challenge is, I read a book that said, Die empty. Picture this when you die. Empty ka na ba? Baka Diyos ko po, mamamatay ka na lang. Gabundok pa na mga pera ang talagang kinukuha mo. Die empty. Remember Alexander. 
the great general, Rich, his instructions were, when I die, two things, three things. Doctors will carry my coffin. Number two, all the money I have earned all these years from wars and all, itapo nyo sa dadaanan ng funeral. And number three, my coffin is open and my hand is dangling from my coffin. Empty hands. Why? Why doctors to carry? To remind people na walang makakapagpahaba ng buhay mo in the end except God. No doctor can do that when your time has come. Number two, why ikalat na lang all this money and gold to remind people, to tell people, he said, I wasted my time sa mga walang kakwenta-kwentang pera na yan. They did not give meaning and happiness to me. And why empty the hands to tell people I carry nothing with me when I leave this world? Beautiful reminder po, emptiness. Take the road of emptiness. Oh, mayroon yatang tinatawag sa, well, four season countries yung spring cleaning. That's a time when the spring comes. Lahat na mga hindi nagagamit sa mga closet, empty na yan. Give away. Share. At sana, yung mga, you are so full of love, but you don't give it out. You don't express it. Nandyan lang yan, oh. Sige nga, testing natin. Now na, you and I can say a good word anytime. So now, could you please say a good word to the person beside you now? Oh, mag-empty ka naman. Mag-unload ka. Thank you, ha? Take care of yourself. Uh, oh. Father is going to Paraguay. Thank you, Father, for your bravery. He looks like high school. But he's ready to go for the Lord. That's amazing. So, mga kapatid, ganun po, empty. Let it go. And R, mercy, ito po, reparation. This morning, ang dami po sa atin pumunta sa harap ng mirror. Nag-repair. Nag-public uh, works, bulldozer, grader, kung ano-ano mga patsi-patsi. Reparation. Make up. Let our life now sana be a reparation. In preparation for our death. Lord, sige, reparation na ito. If I suffer, okay, Lord, in reparation for all my sins. If I have pain, Lord, sige, I offer it in reparation. I give a donation to, Lord, that's in reparation for all my sins. Reparation mode. Marami sa atin, hoarding mode pa rin eh. It's all about me. God is merciful. Reparation na tayo at intercession. There is a prayer that reminds us that asking for mercy is not just for ourselves. A prayer taught by Mama Mary in Fatima. Can you say it together with me? Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell and bring all souls to heaven, especially those who need most your divine mercy. We are interceding for others. Mayroon ba kayong problema sa bahay, problem person sa bahay? Continue to pray, intercede for that person. Huwag po kayong magigiba. God is good, loving, and merciful. So mga kapatid, uh, why is the time to say, keep saying na, Yes, Lord, obedience. So if you want to live Mercy, merciful, 
be meek, be empty, be in reparation. Ah, namis ko yung isa. C. Take the road of compassion. Na ikaw na napatawad, marunong ka ring magpatawad. Naintindihan mo yung paghihirap, pinagdadaanan ng iba. Marami sa inyo dito, passionate. Wow, passionate sa work. Passionate kumain. Passionate kung ano-ano, magbiyahe. Beyond being passionate, don't forget to be come passionate have a heart for other people so mga kapatid maraming salamat po to god who is good loving and merciful god's love and mercy is the biggest closure sana po at the end of our lives pagdating mo sa langit sa ang lane ka papasok yung mga clean lane dito naman yung mga ako papasukan ko na lang lane na mercy lane that's where I'm going take the road of mercy makakarating ka talaga sa langit Amen and Amen close tayo are you close to God? are you close to God? Are you sure? Close sure. Amen and amen. And one last thing, Lord, I invite you to bow your head. Please, when that time comes that I go before your throne, please embrace me. Be merciful to me, a sinner. It is your mercy that will save me. My good works, etc., as achievements, are nothing compared to your tremendous love and mercy for me, a sinner. Thank you, Lord. Sorry, Lord. And I love you, Lord. And right away, right now na, we transmit that mercy. Pakisabi mo na, right away, katabi mo, thank you ha, oh, sorry ha, love you, take care. Saranghe, kamsa, amnida. Amen and 